Aloha, welcome to Keys to Success, which is live on the Think Tech live streaming network series weekly on Thursdays at 11 a.m. We are your hosts. My name is Danelia, D-A-N-E-L-I-A. And I'm the other half of the duo, John Newman. Welcome to today's show. The goal of this show is to provide professional and personal development tools and profound insights on how to achieve success in life, career and or business. We are very grateful for all the positive feedback we have received from viewers. One of the viewer comments from our last show was, all the keys to success episodes are filled with encouragement and knowledge. Great guests. You, our viewers and listeners, are our inspiration for the show. General John Toolan Jr., the United States Marine Corps Forces Pacific's Commanding General, was our guest on our last show, and his words of wisdom can be accessed on Newman Consulting Services' website at newmanconsultingservices.com or our landing page at danilia.org. Our theme for today is The American Dream is Alive and Well. Joining us today in the studio as our honored guest is Mrs. Kailani Kao, owner of Kailani Spices. Mahalo for joining us today, Kailani. Mahalo too for having me here. Yes, okay. welcome. Would it be all right if we call you Kai? Absolutely. Great. Okay. Now, our first question to you would be, share with our viewers, if you will, why and when did you decide to start your spice business? I started um, about 12 years ago. Okay. And the big reason I did it was to help people cook again. Mm. I was seeing my friends not cooking, going to the gym all the time, and mm. their families were suffering mm. from not having cooked meals. Mm -hmm. And I would see what people were buying in the store and mostly processed food. Right. And I grew up in the Philippines. My mom taking me to the farmer's market mm -hmm. and everything fresh. Yeah. And I said, you know what? Let me come up with something that's quick and easy and tasty at the same time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And right. I discovered rubs. Mm -hmm. And rubs are a um, combination of spices with Hawaiian salt we put in. And if you just sprinkle it on, whatever, chicken, meat, any kind of pork or, or uh, fish. Mm -hmm. And if you're vegetarian, Ooh. you sprinkle on your vegetables, your salad. So it was, if you put it on meat, you just rub it on mm -hmm. and uh, let it marinate and bake or grill. How simple is that? And it's healthy. Wow. And it's healthy yeah, at cool. the same. Yeah, and in fact, that's one of the other reason I start really getting into it uh -huh. because I found out that every spice is medicinal oh, wow. mm. and so you're eating well mm. and at the same time getting healthy wow. yes that's, yeah, that's great so um, what are some of the challenges you experienced starting your spice business well the some of the challenges was um, where to get great spices because mm -hmm. we're all about quality mm -hmm. so I had to find that out mm -hmm. and Unfortunately, there's nobody doing uh, dry spices in Hawaii, mm -hmm. so... That's a good thing. Yeah, that's a good thing for you. That was opportunity <laughs> in disguise. Yeah. <laughs> you, found yeah. need, you found a need and you, you see, filled that, it. Absolutely. I, exactly. I believe in what yeah, you just yeah, said, uh, absolutely. John. Okay. <laughs> and uh, that, and then what bottles, what yeah. container, and who do I sell it to? And uh -huh. You know, Hawaii is great. I did cold calls and yeah. everybody was so friendly. Mm. And I just called them and we got into food land and uh, down to earth and uh, Don Quixote. We started getting into those places. It's great. They were so, they were just so nice. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah, that is one of the great <coughs> things about Hawaii. I think so, our fear can hold us back from just asking. That, that's right? true. That's our true. Fear, we think, oh, they'll say, no, we'll. You know, once you call, you have a yes or no answer. It's a 50-50 chance. I say, go for it. <laughs> yes, because, you know, what's stopping us, yeah, that's right? Exactly Except right. ourselves. That's and true. that's one yeah. of the keys to success, you know, being able to do what you need to do. Yeah. Because if you don't do anything, you won't get anything. Exactly. Right. We, can, we try and keep it simple. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Just do it. <laughs> Just do it. Okay. Uh, share with our viewers some of the strategies uh, that you incorporated while you were building your spice business if you would. Um, what I did was um, word of mouth because we're a small business mm -hmm. so we didn't have a lot of money to advertise. Mm -hmm. So I did a lot of demos in the stores mm -hmm. 
and I got local papers to print up about us free, mm -hmm. okay. like the Honolulu, Honolulu Magazine did an oh. article on mm -hmm. us, okay. and the Hawaiian, uh, unfortunately, Aloha Airlines uh -huh. okay. did too, uh -huh. unfortunately they're not around anymore. Right. And um, uh, also now what's happening, I'm realizing social media, I wish I'd you know, known more about that mm -hmm. uh, in the beginning of my uh, spice business, mm -hmm. but now we're doing more and more of social media because mm -hmm. we're realizing mm -hmm. it really gets to the people quicker and faster. And mm -hmm. so we're working on that. Mm -hmm. That's okay. my new strategy. It's always a work in progress, right? Absolutely. Never and, quit. <laughs> and you know, okay. social media was not, 12 years yeah. ago, social media is not like it is now. Things That's have true. changed dramatically over the last 12 years. So, yes. you know, a lot of uh, individuals who have had businesses for a while um, have, have actually, um, not engaged in social media, but now we're finding we've got to engage in social yes. media. I mean, that's an absolute necessity. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So yeah. that's what I've learned. And this is the age of technology. Yes. There's nothing we can do about it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, our son said, don't telephone me anymore. You have to text or email me. <laughs> oh, <laughs> right. Took us about six months to get through that. You know? Oh, I still like to telephone. <laughs> and now we enjoy texting all the time. But, you know, so it's easier. That personal, that personal yes. uh, part of uh, communication should never go away. Yeah. I, absolutely. Yeah. When I want to say something personal mm -hmm. or deeper than quick, right. I call the person. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Because I can't say how I feel Texas. That's true, and it can yeah. be misconstrued for your text as well. Because exactly. when you write something, it could be misconstrued, as Danilia just said, and there's a lot of amb ambigu amb ambiguous Ambiguity. when you when you look at something. Well, I didn't mean it that way. Well, I took it that way, and right. whether you meant it that way or not, uh, that's the way I was that's perceived. And that's the reason why we're talking about this is because in business, even today, even with social media, that personal... Um, relationship, mm -hmm. that personal contact, that personal communication is still a yeah. very high priority. Yes. You know, very high priority. Yes. Um, what is it about the spices that make it unique, make there you them go. unique? Well, number one, we're certified organic. Right. Okay. You know, what's uh, good for the planet, good for your body. Yeah, right. I love <laughs> it. I love yeah, it. No chemicals, no additives, no gluten, no yeah. MSG. Uh, no peen, no nuts. Uh -huh. uh, now you know so many people are allergic. Allergic. Mm -hmm. uh, and each one has eight spices, mm. except Chinese spice spice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. <laughs> and um, and we have Hawaiian sea salt, so they're all rubs that mm -hmm. makes it easy. Mm -hmm. So it's f that's what we say, flavor without the labor. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love like, it. Yeah, like I said, you know, you shake it on, yeah. rub well, it what in. What was that tweetable moment again? Flavor? How you said? Flavor without. The labor. Oh, flavor. Right. <laughs> yeah, like, that's good. That's definitely yeah, a tweetable yeah. moment. All right. So why don't you share with us a little bit about the health benefits mm -hmm. of the spices? Um, like, okay, you've heard a lot about turmeric. Yes. Mm -hmm. But it's not even just turmeric. It's every single spice. And imagine what my spices has eight spices in them mm -hmm. that we roast. That's another unique thing about them. We roast mm -hmm. it first, mm -hmm. so it brings out the oils of the spices. Mm -hmm. And um, and that's actually old school. If you go mm -hmm. to India or Thailand, that's how they do the spices. They mm -hmm. roast it first, and then we grind it. Mm -hmm. And then we make our formulas. Um, so there's eight spices, and turmeric is like in our curry, mm -hmm. which everybody knows it helps prevent Alzheimer's, mm -hmm. and super high in antioxidant as mm -hmm. well. And also cinnamon is in our uh, curry, mm -hmm. and that's, um, that's even higher in antioxidant than turmeric. Mm -hmm. Wow. And a lot of people don't realize that. Well, that's mm -hmm. new. And that bo boosts uh, the brain function. Mm -hmm. Okay. And also um, garlic. Garlic is on almost all of our spices. Mm -hmm. I just love garlic. <laughs> yes, we do too. Uh, but uh, the thing is, everybody has to eat, eat it, you know. And you know, and it's so good. It, for absolutely. Us. And one of the one of the um, keys to success is being healthy. Yes. You know, being healthy is extremely important. Watch mm -hmm. what watch what you're putting in your yes. body. You know, we're all not perfect, unfortunately. Uh -huh. You know, we all love to eat different things, but you know, the spices are one way of keeping your body healthy. Mm -hmm. uh, absolutely. Yeah. And and that's what I'm that's what I was so upset when I was seeing what people were eating. Yeah. Um, and that's why you know we have a high obesity rate in yes. America. Yes. And our poor children are all uh, overweight mm -hmm. and 
Uh, so it's lack of exercise and eating. Mm -hmm. It's not just exercising, we need to feed our bodies. Mm -hmm. As the saying goes, you are what you, what eat. you eat. That's and so true. true. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's shift gears a bit. Okay. <laughs> what is your definition of the American dream? And do you feel you've accomplished it? My definition of American dream is, um, yes, I do. Um, is that's what's beautiful about America, mm -hmm. that any person of color, like mm -hmm. myself, mm -hmm. and, um, or whatever economic um, uh, level you're on in America, or you, you can achieve it, it through believing, mm -hmm. hard work, mm -hmm. And, uh, and as we said before, doing it. Mm -hmm. And I feel you can come to America where a lot of countries, like India has a caste system. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You, can't, you can't go to this level if mm -hmm. you're at this level in India, but in America you can. Mm -hmm. Because I grew up in the projects. Mm -hmm. I came from the Philippines on a boat, came to America speaking only Tagalog, mm -hmm. no English, mm -hmm. and went to American school, mm -hmm. learned English right away. And, um, as soon as I could work, I worked, mm -hmm. and um, and I realized because my my mom taught us she didn't want us to be on welfare, and uh, we had to be because um, circumstances. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I remember her being uh, embarrassed, and my including myself. Mm -hmm. As soon as I could work, we worked, mm -hmm. and so to get out of that. Mm -hmm. And uh, yes, I believe if you want something in America, you can achieve it. The only thing stopping you is yourself. Yeah. Wow. So true. And, yeah. And you I, know, it's interesting because I'm from another country too, right, from Australia. And, and when you're from another country, your view of America is like, wow, this is so great, the American dream. That's what we think about, right. the American dream. Yes. And it is alive and well. It so is. But so many individuals think it's not. They, they're so scared. A yes. lot of people, you are... You know, they say that maybe afraid of success, yes, or they don't believe in themselves enough, yes. And all of us cannot be bosses, all mm -hmm. of us can't own a business, mm -hmm. and that's okay. But the ones who do want to have a business, they can achieve that, and, mm -hmm. and it's true all what we've said hard yeah. work, believing, and giving a good product. You can't give shoddy product, right. you have to give a great product and great service, right. those okay. are the two key things. Okay, well, right. well, we're going to take a break. That's the perfect time to take a break. Um, this is Keys to Success on the Think Tech Live Streaming Network series. We're talking with Ka Kailani Cal, owner of Kailani Spices, regarding our theme today, The American Dream is Alive and Well. My name is Danelia, D-A-N-E-L-I-A. -E and I'm the other half of the duo, John Newman. Hi, my name is Justini Spiritu. This is my co-host, Matthew Johnson. Every Thursday at 4 p.m., we host the Hawaii Food and Farmers Series. This is the place you can come to for insight on the perspective and history and passions of Hawaii's farmers and all folks involved in Hawaii's local food system. What kind of folks do we have on? So we have everyone from local farmers, we have foodies, chefs, we also have journalists, uh, researchers, anyone who's actually working to help make Hawaii's local food system that much better. So join us every Thursday and uh, tweet into us and ask us some questions and leave your comments as well. For a very healthy summer, watch Viva Hawaii. We're giving you the best tips and with our best health coach here. So, Viva Health Coach. Viva la comida saludable. Welcome back. This is Keys to Success on the Think Tech live streaming network series. We encourage you to call our hotline at 415-871-2474 to join our conversation or tweet us at ThinkTechHI if you have any questions or comments. We've been talking with Kailani Cowell, owner of Kailani Spices, regarding our theme today, The American Dream is Alive and Well. My name is Danelia, D-A-N-E-L-I-A. And I'm the other half of the duo, John Newman. Welcome back to the show. Kai. Hi. <laughs> Just when we, 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 we left off, you were sharing some wonderful words of wisdom. So 
you shared with us that you didn't grow up here in America. You, you grew up in Thailand, you said? The Philippines. Philippines. The Philippines, okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right, so how did that go? How was that? How, I know you were young when you came over, but do you remember anything about Abs your humble beginnings? Oh, absolutely. I remember living in the Philippines on a uh, dirt floor. Oh. But, you know, you, we we're didn't happy. feel poor. No, you I never mean, do when you're a child. No. You're just happy. But you, right? you absolutely. Were poor. Yeah. Yeah. We were not poor. We yeah. were eating. My mom was working, okay. yeah. supporting um, me and my cousins yes. and auntie. and mm -hmm. Yeah, so, no, we were not poor. Okay. Isn't that the beautiful thing about children? Children don't, you know, they don't get involved in all of that. It's the adults that think about, well, we don't have this and we don't have that. But children just enjoy life. No matter where you see children, you, they're always having a good time. They're doing something fun. And as adults, we, we tend to stop doing that. Yeah, <laughs> and, that's true. And, and what, we, what we teach in our, our schools, we have a, a, a vocational school as well. And when we say poor, you know, happiness is something that you mm -hmm. can't put a price on. That's true. And if you, long as you have happiness in your life, mm -hmm. you're, you're fine. That's mm -hmm. success. Mm -hmm. See, money is not always success. Mm -hmm. It's uh, how you live, mm -hmm. you know, and what's in your heart. Yeah, and if you, exactly. we, everybody, as you said before, everybody can own a business, mm -hmm. but everybody could be successful. That's and, right. And, and, and be self-sustainable. And that's, that's the key. Right. And that's the formula. And, and as you said, it is about being happy because happiness means different things to different people. But a lot of the time we, we are resistant to happiness because we say, oh, that will never happen. I'll never have that. Well, you might have it if you start thinking about it, <laughs> you know, That's true. and start acting towards achieving it. Yes. Because Henry Ford said, if you think you can, if you think you can, you're right. Mm -hmm. So right. we have to go ahead and do what we need to do. So yeah. how did your mother explain America when you moved over here? <laughs> yeah, the streets are paved with gold. <laughs> <laughs> I love but it. But you know I what, that's it. so great yeah. because that's what uh, you're expecting. I know that the streets aren't paved with gold, but in a lot of ways it is because the American dream is alive and well and there's so much opportunity here. Yes. You know, and pe often people say, well, you know, it's just really hard work. Well. Yes, it is. It is. But it's the journey that counts. It, it, you know what? It's yes. the journey that counts. So it share, is. About, share, yeah. share the journey with us. Yeah. You know, I, the journey has been rocky, but I was telling Don, you mm -hmm. know, my husband, you know, I wouldn't have met all these wonderful yeah. people and the, the, bus the business people, regular people, the moms yeah. and the kids. Yeah. When they come to my table tasting yeah. my... Uh, my famous curry fried rice with cranberries. Yeah. I can throw that in. Right. <laughs> we look forward yeah, to eating right. some yeah. of that. <laughs> and, yes, I brought some, as, okay. as you know, for your lunch All today. All right, thank you. And then, and then a piece of chicken with the Kona spice or mm. the Hawaiian spice. And parents, when they see their children eating it and they say to me, I can't believe my picky child mm. is eating your food. Yes. That warms my heart. Yes. Oh, wow. And I said, yes, they do, because I feel that they came <coughs> from you know, they're the beginning, they're yes. mm -hmm. just starting, and they know what's fresh and what's good. And, right. and it's the parents that uh, prevents mm. the children from mm. eating. I, mm. I see this all the time. Yeah. So that and seeing people's faces when they taste the food and how it makes them happy. Yeah. And then I have a banner with the health benefits uh -huh. that even, they actually read it and they're serious. Will this help me? I said, if you continue to yes. eat healthy, I could see that they're maybe overweight or something. Yes. Um, and just exercise one hour a day. That's yes. all you need. One hour a day. That's 24 right. hours in a day. Right. I said, you'd be fine. Right. And stop taking the meds. It's the meds that's making us mm. unhealthy. Yeah. Yeah. And that's one of the things that, that uh, Danilia and I have found out in life, that there's drugs are drugs, whether they're legal or illegal. Mm -hmm. They're still drugs. That's true. And, and you're still putting them into your body. You're mm -hmm. putting something foreign into your mm -hmm. body. And what you're saying that your, your spices are natural. They're, they're organic and organic. like, imagine I was telling people, each of my spice rub has eight spices. I eat, my husband and I, we eat that every day mm -hmm. in some form of another of mm -hmm. one of the spices in our food. Imagine if you did that, even if you just put it in your scrambled eggs. Mm -hmm. When people say, I don't have time to, put in your tuna fish, open yeah. up a can of just, tuna. Just mm -hmm. sprinkle. Yeah. yeah. But every day, and that's our, that's our 
vitamins. That's mm. our drug every mm. day. And we're, okay. we don't do any drugs, drugs. That's mm. wonderful. It, except my husband has to have his heart thing. Mm -hmm. Other than that, we exercise, we eat. Mm -hmm. I cook almost every day. All mm -hmm. right. Yeah. That's right. What a lucky man. <laughs> <laughs> Are you saying something, <laughs> uh, okay. so, You know, our, our show is called Keys to Success. And, and the reason we call it Keys to Success because we feel that anyone can be successful. Yes. And one of our standard questions would be, share with us your three uh, top success habits. You give a great product. Mm -hmm. That's one. Yes, and um, you, you believe, I believe in it. Mm -hmm. And uh, believing in hard work mm -hmm. okay. and focus. Mm -hmm. You have to focus. And these are all things like, my mind is always going, but I really focused mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. when I started this. I was really serious. I really sat. You know, it's so funny. There's a saying, if people really knew what how to start a business, they really knew what really went on, they probably wouldn't. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, it's not true. No, yeah. That's very true. Yeah. That's and, very true. And yeah. so I said, oh my gosh, you mean I have to pay, have payroll? And yeah. That? <laughs> yeah, right. yeah. I, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work, but yeah. you know what? I love, you know what, Danielle, you said yeah. the right thing. Yeah. It's the journey. That's right. And, and that's, and when I look back, when I look mm. back, I said, and the humble, I started KCC Farmer's Market, mm -hmm. and I was so nervous. I, I couldn't sleep. Right. We had, I had to be there like 4.30 in the morning. And I said, what if nobody buys my spices, mm -hmm. right? And I had all this food. Everyone bought everything, sold out. The yeah. food sold out. And, um, yeah, so that's, that, to me, the journey has been fantastic. Absolutely. Oh, yes. yeah. You know, I, I recall the first time that I gave a presentation to a 1,000 people up on stage. I, I threw up before I went up on stage. I was so <laughs> nervous. I was up all night. And, oh, you know, no. it, was just it was just terrible. Then I got up on stage. I had the podium, and there was a glass of water on the podium. And I said, great to see everybody. And I knocked that glass of water on the people in the front row. <laughs> and the whole... The whole auditorium was just really quiet, and I thought, okay, I can either run off here right now crying, never to be seen again, or I can just go for it. So I looked at everybody and said, isn't that a great way to start a seminar? Oh. And, you know, everyone started laughing, and at the end of the day, I had a standing ovation, oh. and that was my beginning, you know? It's like, you've just got to go for it. Yes. You just have to go for it. Yes. Yeah, so and true. See, I, re I remember a little, a little bit more humbling beginning uh, when uh, you, we did our first seminar oh and, the very first the very, yeah. very first seminar and only three people showed up wow but, but the thing is we didn't stop yeah you can't now going. it morphed into mm -hmm. what Danielia just shared with you a thousand people were there Right. So right. that's it's a very different teaching three people yeah. and a thousand people yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the thing so, is, but oh. you have to stay committed yeah yeah, yeah. And imagine be if passionate yeah. Yeah. Imagine if you had stopped. Yes. That's right. We wouldn't, wouldn't be where we are now. A, absolutely. Yeah, I know. Okay. So, um, you know, did you, were you ever ready to give up at any point? <laughs> Lots of times. <laughs> there were times I'd be crying and yeah. I'd call my friend, I can't do this. Yeah. I'm not meant to do this. Yes. Da, da, da. Oh, yes, you can, Kai. You have a great product. Keep on going. Right. He said, that's what business is about. Yes. Oh, yes. The hurdles. If you got... That's what it is. Yes. It's never going to be black yes. and white. You know, it's, yes. it's, it's always going to be... <laughs> well, and down. I remember many yeah. nights crying. I yeah. mean, you know, it's like, oh, my gosh. You know, how am I going to get... How are we going to get to the next stage? How are we going to... But you know what? Oh. It's faith, belief, yes. and just never giving yeah. up. That's you true. know, sometimes people think it's really easy, but it's not. And it doesn't matter whether you have a business or not. Life itself can be a yes. series of challenges. But if you look at it, that you're meant to go through that process in order to get to where you're supposed to be. And then you look back and you go, it was all worth it. Yes. It was all worth it. I, I believe that no matter who you ask, That's true. If they've gone through a journey at the end, was it worth it? And I'd say 99.9% .9 of the time, people say, absolutely. Despite mm -hmm. all the challenges, yeah. it's worth it. That's true. So Kai, what counsel could you give our viewers and listeners uh, and young entrepreneurs to help them with their business startups? Definitely, like we 
all the things we said. You have to believe in your product, mm -hmm. yourself. You have to do the hard work. The, um, you can't do it for money. Mm -hmm. You have to do it because it's your love, it's your passion. Mm -hmm. And it's a cliche, but the money will come, and That's I truly hard. believe that. Yes. Mm -hmm. Unless, if you don't have a great product and you don't put your whole heart and soul, it won't happen. Yeah. You can't do it because I see this happen all the time. Mm -hmm. Like a popular product, other people will follow. Mm -hmm. But they're just doing it for the money. I could see it. Right. It's never going to succeed. Right. Mm -hmm. I'm in the food manufacturing. That's the beauty of Hawaii. We, we're one of the largest local food manufacturers mm -hmm. that do a lot of local than, than most of the states in the, you know, on the mainland. Mm -hmm. And um, we have some really great local products. Mm -hmm. and, and most of the ones I've met have I've been passionate, mm -hmm. hardworking. Mm -hmm. In fact, uh, this weekend we have Made in Hawaii show. Great. Uh, honoring all our uh, local vendors mm -hmm. that, that makes local products. They're going to be at Blaisdell. Good. And I've done this many, many years. Mm -hmm. and, um, and you'll see, you can see the passion and, uh, and yes. the products and taste it. Yes. At, um, Made in Hawaii this weekend, starting tomorrow through right. Sunday. Fantastic. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's great. Really great. Mm -hmm. So, <clears throat> are there any other keys to success? Uh, like, it, just uh, like I said, believe in yourself mm -hmm. and uh, do it for the love. Yes. Okay. And, and it, it will come. Yes. It will come. And, uh, yeah, absolutely. Thank you. So actually, we're out, that went fast, didn't it? it did. We're out of time. We're, we're about to wrap it up. Uh, Kalani Kai, I would say Kai, thank you. Yes. Words of wisdom with regards to key success can be found on Newman Consulting Services webpage, newmanconsultingservices.com and landing page, danelia.org. By now, you know how to spell my name. Oh, <laughs> Thanks okay. to you, our viewers and listeners, for tuning in. Thanks to our broadcast engineer, Zuri Bender, our floor manager, Nick Sexton, uh, and to Jay Fidel, our executive producer who puts it all together. Thank you, Kai, for joining us today Thank and you. sharing your insights to success. Thank Tech you. Keys to Success. We'll be back on Thursday at 11 a.m. So tune in again, please, and ask your friends and family to do so as well. My name is Danelia, D-A-N-E-L-I-A. And I'm the other half of the duo, John Newman. And leaving you today, Danelia and I would like to share a quote from Thomas Edison which says, many of life failures are people who didn't realize how close they were to success when they gave up. Thank okay. you all. Aloha. Aloha, everyone. Aloha, everyone. <laughs>